guys, it's me, Laura Melendez from Vintage Thrifted Treasures, and today I'm going to share with you guys what I found at the Barnyard Estate Sale, or what I actually purchased, and it was my first time ever being at a estate sale, so I really didn't know how estate sales worked. Um... So the pricing on everything was kind of confusing. I didn't know if the numbers on the actual items themselves were the prices or if it was like a lot number or what. But after figuring it out, um, I did end up purchasing these two flower frogs. And I believe these were $4 a piece. So I didn't own any of my own. And I think I'm going to resell these. I'm not going to keep them myself. Um, I know people use these to put like pens and things, but I'm not going to do that. I think if I were to find the flower frogs that have like the little spiky things, I would like those better, like personally for myself, because I do have a lot of vintage cards that I do like to put up in my displays for the holidays and these I really don't like I know people put also marbles like old marbles and stuff but I don't collect marbles and if I did put pins in here my kids would probably just take all of them from me <laughs> so anyway, the, anyhow I got those two flower frogs these would be up for sale I also found which I already opened these little books here at one point they were 25 cents a piece I thought they were like this in the bag and when I flipped the bag over oh like this actually I saw this marigold miniature and so I thought the middle one was gonna also be the same type but it turned out that I was duped <laughs> so it is this one the middle one is a different one but this one's still kind of cool too because it's a older um, little mini book, if you could see there, 1963. So, and I thought this front page would look cool, like in my Halloween display. Kind of looks a little spooky. That ugly little rat. So, I am going to keep these little books. I just like the graphics on these two here. So, there's this one. Rumpelstiltskin and How to Tell Time and this one's super adorable. It does have a little bit of pencil scribbles in it which I'm going to try to uh, use an eraser to get out. But the graphics in here is cute. This cute little boy running for the school bus. I don't know. I thought it was a cute book to read to my my little ones to kind of get them um to learn about how to tell time and stuff so i thought it was cute get that little cute cat anyhow so there was this one and then this one here classic story I just thought these would look cute like as a backdrop for a display also so I found those I think I paid I don't remember let me see if it's on the bag two dollars two dollars for those three books oh and on that day that my husband and I went to this barn sale it was 25% um, off so we did get 25% off um, each item and in the thrift barn or the thrift with me video that went out before this haul video um you guys saw that we my husband i actually was focused on this piece of um needlepoint strawberry needlepoint and then my husband was like hey look at the right next to you there was like strawberries galore on that whole entire table so i did try to pick up um the more unique pieces like they had a lot of hand painted stuff which was really pretty but 
my daughter, um, she's a really good artist and she could pretty much paint hand or hand paint strawberries on any piece of wood for me. So I tried sticking to like dishware or stuff like this that's handmade, but you know, like needlepoint and things like that. So a little bit more unique strawberry pieces. So I like the frame also. Um, it is a little bit dusty. I gotta try to clean it off a little bit, but it's cute. And I think this was three or four dollars. I don't remember. Just a cute frame with some strawberries. Probably gonna go up in my kitchen. I found these two little ramekins by Sheffield. It's the strawberries and cream. I used to see this pattern around my Goodwill, like the plates and the bowls, and I used to just not pick it up. I don't know why. Probably because I always used to see it, and now it's very rare that I see it um, in my Goodwill stores in my local area. So I was kind of happy to spot these. I picked them up right away. So I think with these, I, I don't actually bake with them or use them for baking. I am think I'm going to buy some succulents to put in these and then just use them as planters around my kitchen or my kitchen window. I think that would look very pretty. So I got those. Happy to see strawberries there at the estate sale. And I also picked up this watercolor here in a frame. It does ha look like it has a little bit of moisture damage here. But I'm probably going to hang this in my kitchen also and I'm, I'll probably dust off the inside. Maybe re um, get a new mat for around here. Maybe something brighter, whiter. And uh, I don't know, I just thought it was pretty unique, even though it is a hand painted strawberry piece. It's done in watercolor, which I don't know, I just, it's simple, but I just liked it. It was drawn to that piece there. So I think that piece, I don't remember. I want to say it was either two or three dollars, maybe two dollars. So those, and then the last piece. No, two pieces of strawberries that I bought. One was this cutting board. It was $2. Two bucks. It says strawberry. Select firm, bright red berries that have a slight tart flavor. Avoid wet or leaky berries. Yeah, those are pretty gross. Also, berries without caps may be too ripe if underripe. Store at room temperature until ripe, and then refrigerate uncovered. When ready to prepare, remove caps, wash, and allow to drain. I don't do all that. I just buy strawberries, stick them in the fridge, and when I'm ready to eat them, I take off the caps and slice them. So, I just thought this cutting board was pretty cool. Um, again, I'm probably not going to use this as a cutting board. It has a little hole right there. So, I'm probably going to hang it on my wall. And then the last strawberry item that I got was a ceramic bowl. Looks pretty plain, right? Wow. Let's jazz this puppy up. Boom. Look at those glazed strawberries. Don't those look delicious? Just this little ceramic candy dish, maybe? I don't know. Maybe you could put fresh strawberries in there. I'm probably gonna put little candies. Um, my grandma used to always carry these like tiny little, they, it had like a strawberry packaging and they were twisty tops. And when you open them up, it was a little hard candy with a soft strawberry inside. I'm gonna try to see if I could find those. I don't know if they still sell them. Um, and put those in this candy dish. So there was so many strawberry items there and I contained myself, guys. I only got these pieces here. So, I don't pick up every single strawberry piece I see, but I do pick up a lot. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm back. I just had um, to go check on my little one. She started crying. Anyhow, as I was saying, I don't pick up 
every single strawberry strawberry piece I see they did have a lot more and I'm kind of actually now that I think about it even though they were hand painted my husband's one was like who told me afterwards he's like why didn't you get any more strawberry items and I was like I don't know I think I was trying to save some money and trying to figure out prices and then I didn't want to that was the first barn they had two large barns at the estate sale and it was the first barn we were in and I was kind of wanting to just pick up a few things that really drew my eye and then wait to see what was in the other barns and outside of the barns. So I think that's why I just didn't go nuts and grab all of the <laughs> strawberry items. But I should have grabbed all of them and then maybe at the end, after seeing everything, then if I didn't want to put it back, I probably should have done that. But my husband did say, um, she or he saw a lady after I had picked up what I wanted she kind of swooped in and took everything else so I kind of regret doing that I should have just grabbed everything and then walked around the sale and if I didn't want to put it back but oh well um there'll always be more strawberry items to pick up I guess I did also pick up this half apron um it was three dollars has this little faux pocket here with a lace and oh actually I just noticed it it's not a faux pocket it's a real pocket see that it was tricking me the lace threw me off I lifted the lace and I didn't even see the opening for the actual pocket so yeah it is a pocket apron this will be up for sale I am NOT gonna keep it I it's pretty I like the print has little ladybugs on it um but I already own a half apron um I don't know if I told you guys mine is a strawberry one so I really like mine so that'd be up for sale they did have a lot of linens at this estate sale I do own a lot of vintage linens the only one I grabbed for myself which I thought was kind of unique and I don't really have a lot of yellows was this lace edged dresser scarf or dresser runner table runner whatever you guys want to call it and i just love these um what is like maybe wheat just like the design of that maybe for fall for my dresser it's very simple so this i am keeping i really liked it and it doesn't have any holes or anything it's in really good condition and i think for this one i paid like four dollars i want to say so I picked this up. Um, what else did I get? Oh, um, you guys did see me pick up this cobalt blue. I think this was like a milk of magnesia bottle, I want to say. Made in the USA bottle. Or genuine Phillips. I want to say this was a milk of magnesia bottle. I'm not 100% sure. It does have to be clean on the inside, but I don't know. I am, uh, or I do have a tiny vintage bottle collection going, and if you guys saw my last um, fall home decor video, um, where I showed you guys how I decorated for fall with all my vintage bottles, this one I thought would go perfect in my fall display. So, this I am keeping as well. Mmm... -hmm. An item I'm not keeping is this little redware um, swan vase, little tiny pottery vase. has those adorable little swans. I rarely see redware at the Goodwills where I live, so when I saw this, it was only two bucks minus the 25% off. I thought, what the heck, I'll get it to resell and see how it does. So, that will be up for sale. And I think this is the last item. Yeah, it is the last item. More of these adorable little elephants. Salt and pepper shakers. I think I paid eight bucks for these guys, $4 a piece. So they were a little bit more on the pricier side for salt and pepper shakers. But I have never seen um, black elephants. And I know elephants are kind of a hot commodity right now, especially the trunk up elephants. And I always see them in every other color but black. So I just thought these guys were pretty unique. 
I'm going to keep them in my Halloween display for now, but they are going to be up for sale in my eBay store. So if you guys are interested, they got their stoppers here and they are Japan. You can't tell. Uh, the whole entire word is kind of, you can only see the pan part, but they are Japan. And I don't know, I just thought they were pretty unique. So they look cool in the, uh, in my Halloween display since they're black for now. But yeah, these guys will be up for sale. And that was it, guys. That is everything I picked up at the barnyard estate sale. It was super fun. First estate sale I've ever been to. Hopefully not my last. Um, I want to thank Carrie over... She doesn't have a channel, but on YouTube she's KCATX. She's the one who was kind enough to share the barn information with me. I didn't even know it was um, going on. It was kind of a maybe about an hour away from where I live. But the drive out there was um, gorgeous. I mean, it was farmland and everything. And it was fun. It was my first estate sale. Estate sale, like I said. And I don't know. I think it was a success. Oh, um, the flower frogs. When we were checking out, actually, there was a man who was helping us... Um, check out and he had an accent at first I thought it was Australian but he was from Britain he said that in Britain they call these roses and here in the states we call them flower frogs so I thought that was a cool little piece of information didn't know if you guys knew that but now you do and with that I'm gonna sign off so um let me know in the comments below which piece was your favorite and don't forget to like, give me a thumbs up, comment, and um, just want to thank all of you guys for uh, your support and encouragement with my YouTube channel. Stay tuned for the 200 sub giveaway. So I am going to be giving away a piece that I recently thrifted, and I was shocked when I, when I found it. <laughs> so... Um, stay tuned. It is going to be soon. I'm working on it right now and I just, with school and kids and everything, it's just kind of taking me a little bit longer. But I do plan on giving away something very cool, something glowy. <laughs> so stay tuned for that, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Hey, it's me again. I totally forgot I purchased this at the estate sale it was sitting right in front of me and I looked over and I was like oh I forgot that piece it is this very cool divided dish from Pyrex early American pattern I was shocked to still see this there guys I paid five dollars it doesn't have the lid but I'm always picking up um, replacement lids so I may have a lid for this already in my collection of lids I'm gonna have to look for it but um, they had in the pictures on the website that was promoting the estate sale, they had some pictures of what was going to be there. And I saw this, and we went on the third day, so I totally thought this, or any Pyrex for that matter, was going to be gone. They did have a picture where there was a table full of corral, and that was all gone. So when I spotted this, and I saw the $5 price, I totally grabbed it, so... Yeah, just this cool divided dish. This is my second piece of early American that I've found out in the wild. The last piece I found was a $4, um, I think 401 bowl in the um, the nesting Cinderella bowl. So I found the smallest one at a Salvation Army. So yeah, I was happy to find that. I'm glad to add it to my collection. So anyhow, now that was everything, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Bye.